A well-rounded knowledge of circles is important for the SAT. You already know the basics, the radius, the diameter, the area, and circumference. But today we're going to talk about the formula for the equation of a circle and some of the ways you can use it to solve SAT problems. The SAT will want you to know this formula for the equation of a circle. x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. In this equation, r represents the radius of the circle, and h and k tell you that the center of the circle is at point hk. If a circle is centered at the origin, point zero, zero, its equation will be x minus zero squared plus y minus zero squared equals r squared, which simplifies to x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So if an equation is centered at the origin and has a radius of two, its equation will be x squared plus y squared equals two squared, which simplifies to x squared plus y squared equals four. Looking at our graph, the center is at zero, zero, and the radius is two. Similarly, if a circle is centered at point three, four, and has a radius of six, its equation will be x minus three squared plus y minus four squared equals six squared, or x minus three squared plus y minus four squared equals 36. So what can we tell about a circle from this equation? Let's take a look. The standard equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h represents the x-coordinate of the center of the circle. In this case, we have a plus sign next to the x instead of a minus sign. The x minus h section of the equation is x plus three. So how does that affect the circle? Well, we know the formula says we need negative h. If negative h equals positive three, then a quick bit of algebra tells us that h equals negative three, which means that the center of our circle is going to have an x-coordinate of negative three. Let's see what else we can find. As we have learned, k represents the y-coordinate of the center of the circle. In this case, y minus k is y minus two. If negative k equals negative two, then k equals two. So the center of our circle is going to have a y-coordinate of two. And now we know the center of the circle is at point negative three, two. So we use the equation to find the center of the circle, but we're not done. We can also find the length of the radius. Remember, the equation tells us that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where r is the radius. In this case, we know r squared equals 34. So the radius of the circle is the square root of 34. Now that we've learned how to work with the equation of a circle, let's take a look at a practice question similar to something you might see on the SAT. If the point negative two eight lies on a circle with a center at negative two four, which of the following is an equation of the circle? And here are our answer choices. Let's underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. We're looking for the equation of the circle, so let's start by writing that down to help us avoid making any careless mistakes. And let's remind ourselves that the center is hk. Looking at our facts, we know the center of this circle is at negative two, four. So let's put that into the equation. We have x minus negative two squared plus y minus four squared equals r squared. Minus negative two equals positive two. So we have x plus two squared plus y minus four squared equals r squared. Looking at the answer choices, we see that A and C both say x minus two, not x plus two. We only just got started and already we can cross off two answer choices. Now let's go back to our facts and see what else might be helpful. The question tells us that point negative two eight lies on the circle. What does that mean and how is that helpful? If you're not sure, you can always draw a picture. We know that negative two eight is on the circle, so let's label that which means that if we connect these two points, we have a radius. The radius starts at four and travels up to eight, so we know its length is four. We're almost done. Our equation is x plus two squared plus y minus four squared equals r squared, where r stands for the radius. Let's place our radius equals four into the equation and we get x plus two squared plus y minus four squared equals four squared, which we can simplify to x plus two squared plus y minus four squared equals 16. And look at that, it's answer choice D. Knowing the equation for a circle and how to use it can be a powerful tool on the SAT. But before we sign off on this lesson, let me give you one more fact about circles to add to your utility belt. 
We've learned how to find the center of a circle using its equation, but there's another way to find the center which might sometimes come in handy. If a question gives you two endpoints of a circle's diameter, like this example here, you can use the midpoint formula to find the center. The midpoint formula is the average of the two x-coordinates, comma, the average of the two y-coordinates. So in this case, the center of this circle would be 2 plus 6 over 2, comma, 3 plus 11 over 2. Do a bit of math, and we find that the center of this circle is 4, 7. You've got a bunch of shiny new tools to help you solve circle questions. So what should you do now? Go practice using them. There are hundreds of questions just waiting for you.